What's good? It's your boy One coming at you once again. Okay, guys, this here is still a work in progress. Uh, not finished. Um, still working on the clothes. Now, this um, the, I'm gonna have to special order a few things. I hate. Oh man, this flies open. <laughs> that all be. Uh, these aren't even the pants. I'm gonna have to special order a couple things. Uh, quiet, girl. But um. So just give you guys a, this is just to give you an idea of what he looks like. His name is Jack. He's from the movie Video Dead. He's in my favorites. If you guys want to check it out, um, the jacket has a special design, almost like a plaid square design on the jacket. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but it will. Um, I'm working on all the weather, and th th it will be way it'll be accurate when I'm done. Just the pants have to be replaced, um, and uh, still working on the shirt underneath. Now the shirt has lots of lines. You can't see really any. You kind of see right there the freaking. This light that I have, guys, it just absorb the white just absorbs the light like crazy. So, uh, redid the teeth, uh, so they had that more of that overbite. So they're back there, but uh, you had the option to tilt his head and hide him. So, very accurate, guys. It was a, a long, grueling process for this head sculpt, but uh, I'm still gonna add some colors on it. But for the most part, he's done. So um, check out the weathering on the back. You know, trying to get specific to every little cut and tear that I, that I can. So I got to cut that undershirt, do some sculpting underneath there. Uh, but yeah, he's coming along fine. So I'm just letting you know, Chris. Don't think that you know, you know, you know, I got it right. Uh, also in the works is this creep show, Zombie Nate. If you guys aren't familiar, that's also in my favorites. Um, hold on a second. Now this bad boy, uh, it's just a head sculpt right now, but I am working on the clothes because he as well has a zombie zombified suit, you know what I'm saying, so, as you can see, he's got a skull hanging out, all this, all this stuff has been sculpted, guys, like, I didn't just put some, you know, no. epoxy sculpt and stab the shit out of it, this is, like, there's details, there's little leaves and dirt and twigs, all sorts of shit, he's gonna have worms in his face, it's gonna be nuts, guys, so, look out for that, Creep Show Nate, and a lot of you guys have been asking me about body types, what bodies do I prefer to use, what, you know, what, what do I use? as far as 12 inch scale. Um, I primarily work with the Dragon uh, bodies because, you know, they're not too, too expensive and they're, they're just great. The articulation is awesome and, and so I, I mainly use those but I also do use the Sideshow bodies um, mainly because, you know, people want to make sure the Sideshow collection and all the custom figures go right um, in scale, you know, because the problem with Sideshow is or I don't know if it's a problem, that their figures, I think I went over this in another video, are like so much larger than a 12-inch scale figure. I mean, look at the comparison, which is always like a problem for me. I hate it, but it's all good, though. And I, I like to work with sideshow figures a lot. Like, this is a sideshow base body right here. But, you know, 12-inch scale, I mean, you know, Hot Toys, a lot of them are this 12-inch scale, like the Dragon. So, you know, it's all good, though. Um, I also don't sleep on the G.I. Joes, guys. I use G.I. Joes sometimes. Now, a lot of you guys might think, oh, man, that's not good. It's poor quality. No, 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 no. Now, the problems with G.I. Joes would be, okay, the uh, ab articulation or stomach articulation isn't there, and um, they're not double-jointed elbows or double-jointed knees, which is a problem sometimes, but not, not really. Most of the time, if I'm doing a full-body sculpt, I'm going to take this articulation out anyway. So, this is fine, not to mention the fact that I like articulated fingers, you know, I don't like the bendy hands, I do like the bendy hands when I'm not, when sculpting isn't necessary, like for, the, for instance, if I'm going to sculpt zombie, like skeleton hands, I'm going to use these, because you're not going to see all this, you know, this looks horrible, this articulation, how it's showing uh, the joints and stuff, but you won't see that if I sculpt a skeleton hand, I've done it, and so yeah, don't sleep on the G.I. Joe's guys, I mean even the faces, uh, you know, they're just great to sculpt on, they're beautiful, so, and again, uh, the, the good thing about G.I. Joe's is these are solid plastic arms, they're not hollow, like if I were to use Sideshow and I wanted to slim them down, you're going to have a big ass hole in the arm, if I'm going to slim these down and make them real skinny and do a skeletal character, I can sand them down as thin as I want because this is a solid piece. So just remember that out there, customizers who are just starting on 12-inch figures. So again, yeah, I'm not gonna. I use GI Joe's. It don't not all the time, but whenever I have to do certain characters, yeah. So don't don't worry, don't feel bad about it. Now I want to do all my figures in the GI Joe, but you know sometimes it's not bad. Now this guys, I picked this up at the swap meet the other day. Now this is from 20th Century Fox. If any of you guys know who this is, let me know. This is a badass figure. He had clothes on, but. 
you know, I, I took them off because they're horrible. But uh, look at the stomach joint. You got, I mean, he's just a great build, great sculpted face. Um, I'm not too happy with the hands, but, you know, other than that, I mean, just, you know, you got the double jointed elbows and knees. I mean, he is just massive. I, I love this. Uh, this, is, this might be my Swamp Thing. I'm going to do a Swamp Thing, a Return to Swamp Thing character, so... Also, I picked up some DVDs, man. Now, these are two for five DVDs. Now, don't, don't laugh at me. I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I, I loved, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I loved Teen Witch, man. I loved it. And plus, it has Zelda Rubenstein. I don't know if you guys know who that is, or Rubenstein. She recently passed away. She was from the Poltergeist. Where is it? Uh, yeah, right here. Um, she was in the Poltergeist. Here she is. Rest in peace, girl. Uh, she recently passed away, and... Um, it was funny, I saw the movie, I was like, oh man, I gotta pick that up. Also, I picked up, yeah boy, The Return of the Swamp Thing, or The Return of Swamp Thing. I'm gonna be doing a custom figure now. Uh, I am doing commissions right now, but uh, I'm gonna be taking a month off. Um, so if you guys are gonna hit me, hit me with it now. It might drag in the next month, but I'm gonna take a couple more orders, and when I'm done, I'm gonna take a month off uh, so I can work on some personal projects I wanna put out. So just a heads up on that, guys. But this is one of the figures I'm going to be working on, a 12-inch scale Swamp Thing. He's going to have plant life all over him. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to fucking love it. And, uh, yeah, so I'll put that out later. Um, I also picked up Ed Gein. Yeah, man, this is a guy who inspired movies like Leatherface and, and, and Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter, and stuff like that. So this is the originator, man. This is Steve Railback's version, not the uh, Kane Hodder version. So this is a little bit more historically accurate. So if you guys check that out, that's awesome. I also picked up Creepshow, because like I said before, I am doing a Creepshow Zombie Nate. So, fuck, I've seen the movie there. I'm like, oh, I'm picking that up. You know what I'm saying? Two for five, man, I'm telling you right now. Um, I also picked up, now this is crazy because you guys know I did a Silent Night, um, Deadly Night Billy, bam, I bought the movie on eBay, and it was a copy, I was kind of pissed, but I was like, fuck it, whatever, I can't find one cheaper, so, you know what I mean, I went with it, whatever, now this is the actual copy, my girl found this over there at the swap, and it was also a two for five deal, it's an actual DVD, I was like, oh, hell yeah, perfect condition, every one of these DVDs are like brand new, guys, I'm telling you, it's, swap me to crazy, you guys gotta go, um, so I picked up Silent Night, Deadly Night. I also picked up another movie, but I ain't going to show you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it's embarrassing. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to take off uh, about a month once I get out my commissions. I got a couple more to put out. And I'll take a couple more, maybe like two more orders, guys. That's all I can do for this month. But uh, I'll take a month off, and I'll hit you guys again with it. Unless you guys have a crazy offer, I can't deny. I might even be doing like... I mean, I might be doing like two through eight Halloween figures. I'm, I might do a deal for that, so I'm not sure yet. Um, now, these are all the seven-inch figures I plan on doing some work on uh, when I take that month off. Now, what's crazy is you guys know that Mattel is now taking over the WWE line, not Jax. Now, this is, I mind you, not a, a Elite a version because there hasn't been a released version of the Elite uh, Big Show, but... Um, and then we got a Deluxe Aggression. Now, the size is considerably different, man, because uh, I'm doing a Victor Crowley commission, and, of course, I'm going to be using this big guy. And, you know, come on, guys. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's bad, because I do like the quality of the uh, Mattel versions. I mean, they're more realistic in the skin texture and everything, but the size on some of them is really a big difference, although a lot of the other ones have a much more realistic build. You know, I do, I love these. These are great. They're more realistic. But there's also some bad parts to some of them. Now, I picked up these two horn swoggles. Now, this, I already had this one. This is the uh, D Jack specific version. And now they have a new uh, Mattel articulated leg version where the legs come out. I love that. So I had to pick him up. And, uh, but there's some differences in them I don't like. I kind of like this one's body type a little better. I just like the leg articulation. I might even splice them. Who knows what I'm going to do. I'm also going to be working on these. Of course, I got some Matt Strikers. I got, a, you know, I got a few of these, but I'm going to, I got them somewhere else. So I even picked up this girl right here. So I got a few of those. They're still a little pricey right now, so I don't have a lot of them, but... So, you know, plan on getting a lot of work done. Check this out. Here's some heads I got from Hong Kong. Just some dragon heads. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> what up, Mike Echo? So, you know, check out that shit. So, some of them are whack, but some of them are really good. Like, you know. But anyway, so I got a lot of work ahead of me, guys. So, uh, by the way, the contest ends February 10th, okay? So, that's the last day you can submit your entry. I got a lot of great videos, and I, they're outstanding job, guys. I wish everybody could win. The third place will probably be a mystery prize. It won't be a DVD, because I know there's region issues and all that, but uh, unless you're a U.S. winner, but... 
Um, definitely, definitely uh, get your submission in, or your, if does that make sense, uh, uh, by the 10th, guys. And I'll announce the winner uh, not too long after that, guys. So, you know what I mean? Your boy one got much love for everybody, much love and respect. And what up, Gaz? Uh, love the customizer's website. You know what I mean? Great, good looking out on that. So, uh, much love. Later.